what's up guys it's dr webb here thank you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe new videos coming every week you don't want to miss them in this video today i'm going to be talking about uh, how i saved over fifty thousand dollars in medical school i went to a very expensive medical school at georgetown hence this jacket right here they should have gave me this jacket uh for how much money i spent a jacket every month for the rest of my life but um very expensive medical school i went on the website today and the tuition with room and board or you know your books your housing your um all the fees and supplies it's a hundred thousand dollars per year which is crazy that you have to spend that much money to go to medical school to become a doctor and then our rates Medicare rates are going down in 2021, kind of projected. You know, it's really a enormous investment and task to take on, to go to medical school, to take out loans, to be able to um, you know, go through this whole path. And then you have to pay back your loans as soon as you graduate. You know, it's uh, maybe I'm complaining a little bit too much, but I wanted to talk about uh, ways to kind of save money in medical school. So I saved over $50,000. I was there for five years at Georgetown because I did a one-year post spec program. And this is something that I would suggest to students, you know, pre-med that are eventually going to med school. You need to be very frugal uh, during medical school. You don't make any money. You're taking out loans for most people. But also, you want to be cost conscious, um, you know, of the tuition. You know, you want to choose a school that has affordable tuition. The average medical student is going to come out with about $250,000 in debt. Um, that's the average. There are some schools that are a little bit more than that, such as mine. There's some schools that are a little bit cheaper than that, such as schools in Texas. And that's something that you should really consider. And some people just don't have a choice. They may get accepted to one school or two schools, and you know, um, other people get scholarships, and other people have family members that help them kind of pay and their way through uh, college, graduate school, medical school. So. I was not as fortunate, even though being in the military and I still had some military benefits, I still came out of medical school with over $500,000 in loans. Um, I recently put out a video about my plans to pay that back and I'll put that right up here. But $50,000, this is how I saved it. In medical school, you take out loans. Um, some people take out private, most of them are federal loans. And these loans that you pay for your food, your housing, your gas, you know, all your utilities, credit card bills, you use your loans to pay for these things. Most people do not work through medical school. I get a lot of questions about that, like, hey, can I work in medical school? You don't want to, being a medical student is your job. You, sh you don't want to work in a medical school. So you need to focus on your studies. That's why you're, you're there. I had some people that I know that were working as bartenders on the weekend. Uh, some people were former nurses. They may have taken some shifts at a hospital, but I just focus on my studies, and um, especially if you wanna get into the competitive specialties. When you get to medical school, you need to find housing, and you need to find either an apartment or a house to rent. Most people kind of uh, find an apartment or they get a house with other kind of classmates. So. One of the things that I did to save a lot of money, especially in D.C., where the rent around the area in Glover Park, uh, right outside of Georgetown, right in Georgetown, uh, was about fourteen to fifteen hundred dollars per month. So I'm gonna grab my calculator because I'm really bad at math and just calculate that. So let's say fifteen hundred dollars per month times twelve months times four years. That's seventy-two thousand dollars. And you can imagine that you're paying interest on this because you're using your student loan money to pay this. Well, what I did, I got a roommate. And at the apartment that we lived in, it had a little small, really small room, kind of at the back of the apartment. Um, it was uh, extremely small. <laughs> I couldn't fit like a regular size bed in there. I think I had like a full size bed and I'm 6'4". You can imagine five years of sleeping on a full size bed where, you know, my feet are almost hanging off the end of it, but that was pretty interesting, but I saved a lot of money. 
Um, so $72,000. So what me and my roommate did, I think the rent was like $1,450. So $1,450, we actually split everything. So we split the utilities down the line, we split the rent. So $1,450 divided by two is $725. Uh, times that by 12, $8,700. Times that by four is uh, $34,800. Uh, so, but if we do that for, let's say uh, five years, so it's fourteen fifty divided by two, seven twenty five times twelve, eighty seven hundred times five, it's forty three thousand dollars and five forty three five. So um, that's essentially how I saved over fifty thousand dollars. I got a roommate, so that's something that I suggest that you do if you can live with people. And luckily, we got along and. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, we studied together, we did things together and hung out, which was really good because, you know, medical school is very um, stressful and you need someone to kind of just talk to you about your day and get things off of your chest. Um, and uh, that, that was, it was really good in kind of that kind of uh, standpoint. But that's, if you can tolerate a roommate, that's one thing that can save you a lot of money, especially if you live in a really expensive city. Uh, consider getting a roommate. Some people, my classmates, they rented out a big house and there was like four people in the house and they just, everybody just split the rent four ways. But uh, just know that, you know, this is temporary. You don't have to do this forever. It's only, what, four years for most people unless you're doing a graduate program or you're sticking around an additional year to do research or you may be there for five years. But um, that's how a lot of people save money in medical school. You have to be very frugal with your money. You have to, your first year of medical school, you should already be thinking about fourth year residency applications and saving up for interviews. So just put a couple of dollars aside each month because you will spend about $10,000 if you go on 10, 15 interviews during your fourth year of medical school. And they don't give you extra kind of money for that. You have to kind of plan for that. So some people did some odd jobs in medical school. Like we had a note taking system where people would uh, take notes for all the other classmates and they put them in a PDF and then if you're signed up for that or pay for that, you can, um, you know, you have those notes that someone else took and there are people who paid people to do that. Uh, we had people who worked the audio booth uh, during lecture to record the lecture. So some people did tutoring. That, that's one thing that I did. I did some tutoring in medical school. Students that needed help that were maybe first years and I was like a third year make extra money that way. But for the most part, uh, most people don't work. Medi being a medical student is a full-time job and you need to treat it as such. So um, a lot of people that are coming into medical school, people that I know, they didn't have parent, uh, parents support. They didn't, I didn't get a lot of scholarships. Um, I got a few, but um, you know, there's not a lot of scholarships that would cover uh, that much t tuition. Uh, for most people, there are some classmates that I know that got scholarships that covered majority of their tuition, but um, everyone else took out loans. And, uh, and I'm kind of tasked now with uh, paying those back. So that's how I saved over $50,000. Um, you can imagine my loan balance would be almost 600000 if I didn't do it kind of this way. So that's what I would suggest that you guys do. If you can tolerate a roommate, I would definitely get one while you're in medical school. It'll definitely save you a lot of money. So what are some things that you guys did in medical school to save money? Did you guys get a job? Did you guys work? Did you guys get scholarships? Uh, what, uh, what are some things that you guys did? I would love to hear from you. And for everyone else, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.